Hello Sagittarius! Welcome to your bonus love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Sagittarius, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Sagittarius. Let's see. Why pick this deck first? That's interesting. And we have a message. Okay. So everything happens for a reason, right? Sagittarius. You might be dealing with Virgo, Gemini, Taurus. We have Page of Wands, the Empress. You might be Divine Feminine. Or you are dealing with Divine Feminine. Um, mm, 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 mm. Message. You're going to receive a message. Empress. That's your energy. I'm getting very strongly from someone here who is very overwhelmed with the with 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 emotions that they have for you. Page of Cups. This person wants to confess the love that they have for you, and this is someone here who you met in the past. For some of you, this is someone here who wants to come back. They they going to reach out because uh, they feel like it's the right time. They've been wanting to do this for a long time and they are keep on kind of pos postponing this and it's getting, and it's like draining, it's tiring, it's exhausting them. Um, you know how it is when we're trying to kind of, um, when we want something, but then we have reservations and then we want something, it start kind of, you know, uh, we start thinking about some about the situation well i have it i can speak i guess only for myself and i start thinking about it and thinking about it it's playing on your on my mind and and then then when we then i'm saying okay i'm going to do that and i feel this is quite in quite interesting energy quite similar energy but six of cups here it's energy of from the past you have someone here who you've already met you know this person you might have history with um it can be an ex, doesn't have to be the case, but it feels here that they do want to reach out to you. I feel very strongly here that this is someone, I feel that you met this person through common friends, like last year, May, June, July I have, when the weather was very nice. interesting it might be a side message here for you Sagittarius so we can expect someone to reach out to you let's see could you please show me important messages for Sagittarius we'll see if it's about this person that's quite interesting Let's see. Sagittarius. Please take it how it resonates, Sagittarius, this reading for you, okay? Let's see. All right. So, Sagittarius, you might be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This person might have heavy placements in those signs, or you might have heavy placements in Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. It feels very strongly here, Sagittarius, that we are connecting this reading for you with someone who is waiting for you to reach out to them. When it comes to your energy, Sagittarius, uh, I, I'm getting here that we are dealing, that we are connecting this reading for you with someone who broke your heart. For some of you, you had a breakup with this person you ended things with them there is no contact situation but uh, i feel that uh, that whole situation really um, kind of it was heartbreaking yeah i feel that indeed that it there might be no contact situation or there was a breakup or you are in separation with this person mm-hmm but it feels here that you are not on a speaking terms. It feels like this person really wants you to reach out to them. 
but at the same time it feels like you know i'm getting that based on those cards i'm seeing that mutual energy we have this ace of swords there is a need for clarity and honest conversation and it feels like both of, of of you want to have this conversation it's like it it but who's going to reach out first that's the thing i'm getting that this person is going to reach out first because it's we have this here what they are really saying so this person it feels very strongly that you didn't hear with someone who's very intuitive or at least at the moment they are they they intuition um, they have quite strong intuition and i feel that their intuition is trying to guide them to kind of reach out to you mm -hmm. i'm not seeing you making that first move here no but Ace of Swords, that a sign, that Ace of Swords suggests that at the end of the day, I, I'm getting that both of you would like to talk about the situation. Overall energy, we have immature. I feel Sagittarius that you are dealing here with someone who's been very childish. This person might have been playing mind games with you. or And at the end, it's like they're coming across as a player. And you kind of see this person as a player, someone who is very mature, very childish. The attitude, the reaction, the way... There is something here about this person, the way they talk, the way they speak. Show me this person's energy and feelings towards Sagittarius, please. just one more time just very quickly could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards Sagittarius and this connection please Eight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, mm. look at that, the Lovers, Nine of Wands, that one, and Four of Wands, Justice at the bottom of the deck, they need to balance things out with you. Sagittarius you might be dealing with Libra we have Gemini so far in this reading for you yeah well we have someone here for, cool. for some of you 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 broke up with this person for some of you this person kind of left the situation uh, I'm seeing here them walking away it might be because they think that way, you know, that they kind of, uh, I'm getting someone who's very proud, Sagittarius, and it's like, I made that decision to walk away. I'm getting them like thinking that way for some of you, but the reality might be, well, what are you talking about? It's me, Sagittarius, who ended things with you. Yeah. But the thing is here that this person is coming back because we have a full moon. So around full moon, which is on Thursday in about two days there you go two of pentacles two days this person will reach out to you knight of cups coming with an offer of love what is that offer it's the lovers reconciliation Sagittarius I really want to be with you Can you give me another chance? I know that you don't trust me. This person knows that you have your guard up, that you don't trust them. Well, you have your reasons, I believe. And you are setting very strong boundaries. But I truly, truly, truly want to be with you. For some of you, this person will be telling you that they, you are their twin flame 
or it's like we are destined to be together i'm getting for some of you like two weeks they might reach out but for a lot of you it might be within two days even really mm -hmm. so you have essentially here sagittarius someone who is coming back who wants to reach out and who wants to be with you that that knight of cups is that card of an apology my card of an apology here so maybe they need to apologize for for for, for that breakup for, for for that you know heartbreak emotional disappointment that they caused But the justice indicates here that this person wants to give you some sort of explanation. They know that they need to balance things out with you in order to be even, you know, given kind of another chance. Only if you want to, of course. But um, they know that first things first, that the ball is in their court and they need to come and bring fairness and justice to the situation. Because at the very beginning, this is someone who treated this connection in a, in, unfairly. In a not in a not right way mm -mm. because the fact that we have justice in the reading suggests that there was a lack of balance and justice and it's and it's showing up in day reading here as an overall energy for their part of the reading so this is someone who needs to who needs to provide you with some sort of explanation but this is strong kind of soulmate energy twin flame can be as well you might be dealing with twin flame or this person feels that way about you Sagittarius but you have someone who wants to be with you and when at the beginning that message here it might be about this person a person who kind of walked away for some of you this is someone who might have ghosted you And now they're coming back. So please take it how it resonates. But they, but they want, uh, but they want that for of wants. Show me Sagittarius's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection. The Hermit, Eight of Swords, Six of Swords. You might be seeing repeated numbers. Six, six, four, four. Hmm. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So you might be dealing with Pisces. We have Virgo. I feel that you are in a hermit mode at the moment. It's like with the Eight of Swords, you just don't want to deal with, with anything regarding this person. And with the Six of Swords, I feel that you've kind of, you've been trying to detach from that situation because it was the right thing to do, essentially. Six of Pentacles, the High Priestess, Two of Swords. The thing here is, Sagittarius, that when this person is going to reach out and they will because they are coming with that offer of love here and we have this Ace of Cups. So that offer of love will be delivered to you, even if you blocked this person. And, and those cards might indicate that indeed for some of you, you've blocked this person because you've kind of came into conclusion, Sagittarius, that you don't want to, you don't want to deal with them. Um, this person here is going to find a way to reach out to you. And with the Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess, I feel that you're going to keep your cards very, very close to your chest. Uh, Six of Pentacles. I'm getting here that you might even say to this person, listen, I'm quite busy at the moment. I'm focusing here on different things. Um, we can talk later or something like that. I'm getting here very strongly that you are making a huge statement. And with the Two of Swords, um, I'm seeing that you will be kind of 
it's like I feel that at some point you will find yourself at the crossroads regarding should we have this conversation should we not have this conversation you know you are very intuitive at, at, as well you know with the high priestess and I feel that there is this kind of energy and there is this um, advice here from from the cards is to listen to your intuition you know, if your intuition is guiding you in a, in a certain direction, it might be advisable for you to kind of even at least rec reconsider, you know, because I'm seeing you not wanting, but the intuition might be telling you something else. Mm -hmm. But that that offer offer here of, of whatever that offer might be of communication, I'm getting conversation mainly. Because you have, you see, day energy is like this. Your energy is pretty much closed off. It's like, I don't want to deal with this. I've been thinking about this for a long time. I'm in a hermit mode. I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to detach from that situation. Or I've been trying to detach from this situation because this is the right thing for me to do. And when this person is going to reach out, I'm seeing you being quite uh, secretive. Or maybe it's not the... It's like, I feel that you're going to indeed... I'm, I'm seeing you being quite closed off. And holding cards very, very close to your chest. The high priestess with the two of swords. It's like this person won't be getting much, you know, from, from that kind of communication. I mean, in the first attempt to you, you know, when they will reach out. I feel that you can't kind of, maybe you will try to postpone this and say, listen, I am quite busy. I'm doing here certain things. So I'm busy at work or whatever here regarding, uh, you know, everyday life and but at some point, I, I'm getting very strongly here that with the two of swords, you will be at the crossroads thinking, maybe I should have this conversation with this person at the end of the day. And I feel that subconsciously, both of you want to talk. But, I, but you know, it depends on you, really, what you truly want. However, you have someone who really wants to be with you. I'm getting two people not being on, a, on a speaking terms. Show me the outcome. Because they have the lovers and the four of wands. Um, this is what they want. You have a different energy on your side. And you have your reasons. Right? Show me the outcome, please. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Wow. Queen of Swords. And the Star. Okay. Oh my gosh. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I wasn't expecting that. I can tell you. To be honest with you, 100% Sagittarius. You might be dealing with Gemini. I have Aquarius as well here for you. So this person wants a um, stable, long-term relationship with you. And this is the energy they're coming in. I mean, they really, they have the lovers, the four of wands and the ten of pentacles. They're going to reach out because they feel that you want, but it's like they are waiting. And, you know, when time goes by, this person is more and more convinced that if they really want to change the circumstances between the two of you, at least they need to take that initiative and reach out to you because I don't see you at all chasing this person. We had that Empress energy at the very beginning. You are, you know, you are not chasing, you're attracting and you're attracting this person here. Indeed, Sagittarius, you have someone who has feelings for you and they truly want you and this connection. Mutual energy, we have a Queen of Swords. That Queen of Swords invite us uh, to kind of have this conversation. And then we have the Star, which is a major healing energy. And hope that things will, will get better. What I am getting here very strong, the Sagittarius, based on this reading, is that yes, you might be feeling certain way about this person, but at some point I'm getting that your intuition will guide you and I'm getting this of course it's a collective reading it might not resonate with all of you but I'm getting very strongly based on this reading that 
at some point you might decide that indeed this conversation needs to take place and I see you uh, having that very important conversation and things will get better the star here and it's also your energy that you are coming in suggests that you know there is a need for balance to be restored but at the same time there is this there will be an opportunity to heal this connection and then we have the two of cups as an overall energy for this reading Sagittarius it might not happen overnight and I feel that you are very much in control here over this situation but two of cups at some point suggests that it might be a case that there will be a reconciliation between you and this person it might not happen immediately because you are in control but at some point it feels very strongly that this connection will be given another chance and it feels like you will be in a relationship with this person you might not feel that way at the moment with this energy but something here will change Wow. I will leave it here, Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius, thank you so, so very much for being with me. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. Sagittarius, have a fantastic and wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.